All right. Welcome to the Wave Machine Labs booth here at NAMM 2012. My name is Matt, and we are here to take a look at Aurea, which is our upcoming app for the iPad. It's a 48-track recording system uh, that turns your iPad into a portable studio. Uh, using uh, Aurea, we can do up to 48 tracks at a time on an iPad 2. We have a full-blown mixer with automation, built-in effects, uh, the ability to load third-party effects as well, uh, and a ton of editing features. People can do edit automation, can do clip-based edits, be able to move parts around, do sample accurate uh, tweaks, be able to adjust start and stops. Um, and it's also fully compatible with most uh, larger DAW systems. We're supporting something called AAF, which is a multi-format um, uh, project that Pro Tools reads, Nuendo, Logic, Digital Performer, and Aurea imports and exports them, so you can move that things back read, and that forth. That just reads the clips, and it doesn't read the plugins, does it? Um, it doesn't read the plugins, it does uh, the clips, it does their timing, but it also does some automation, so you can have volume automation and things on there so, as well. I mean, 48 channels, yep. that's kind of mind-blowing. I mean, it is, how, it is. How did you get there? Well, part of it helps the fact that, honestly, we had not ever made a DAW before. So we were starting completely from scratch and making this. We were trying to shoehorn an existing system onto the iPad, um, we've done some other apps before where we had had to work with the uh, audio system on older iPhones and from that we learned a few things about how to develop and how to kind of um, manage system resources to be able to squeeze actually 48 tracks with effects uh, all at once. So show me some, some sure. screens. Let's okay. So we have, just start playback, this is the mixing window of however many tracks we have. We can zoom across here a little bit. Check out our project. We've got um, some things. I've got some things bust over here into uh, into subgroup number one. I've got all the drums running through that. We can solo that, including have different built-in effects. Um, we partnered with TSP AudioWare, um, another plugin manufacturer. We're, uh, there's a channel strip from TSP on every channel, which includes EQ, dynamic, um, dynamic processing like compression, expansion, gate, uh, a saturation uh, model. Um, they also included a, a stereo uh, chorus as well as a delay, all built in. Um, there's even some mastering capability. If we open up from along the side, if we come in, we can take a look at uh, this is their, um, their specific mastering bus compression. We can come in, we can actually do some bus compression on, on this here. It's a really great. Bring that in. And what's great is we can do parallel processing here. We've got a mix knob, so we can actually just put so it on all, the drums and put it. You know, to see in a full blown dock. We're all running here on an so iPad. How about the editing? Because I'm obviously touch is not as precise as. It's cursor. different. I'll say that it's it's a different kind of interface, and this is one of the cases where we had to do some, um, yeah, spend some time and decide what we really um, wanted to be able to do. Let's go ahead and zoom here into our project. You see a very recognizable look um, in terms of all of our individual tracks with some editing going on here. Everything is gesture based, just like any other um, iPad app. In terms of moving around in the project, we can just slide around. We can do pinch to be able to zoom in, both horizontally and vertically. Should see a very recognizable waveform display once we start zooming got, in like, here. snapping for... There's snap, yep, we've got, a, uh, right now we're in, in time based. You can do snap to either events, to the cursor. Uh, you'll also be able to do to bars, beats, measures, things like that, for all traditional snap tools. Because I mean, you know, a mouse in a kind of, you know, super zoom in is, is hard to be for, for actual preciseness. Right, so you can zoom in down to the sample and you can make sample accurate uh, edits in terms of being able to move clips around. Uh, the way we do this is you can see some handles here on the actual editor. Um, so you can grab, they're contact sensitive, so if you want to like trim the end of a region, you basically can click and, and grab something you saw. Um, basically an arrow should pop up telling us that we're you know, editing something. Um, if you want, you can move parts by just grabbing, clicking and holding for a moment. Um, it'll turn and show you that you can actually uh, be able to move it and you can pick it up and slide it around just like any other part. Um, and do things like volume automation, let me show you that here. So we can add points, be able to draw. Here's volume automation, we can just draw it right in here. Again, 
the kinds of things you'd see on a, on, on a regular uh, computer DAW, but here we're actually offering on so an this iPad. Is, is this, this is work in progress, or when's it going to be submitted? To um, it? It's very, very close. Uh, we are pretty much most of the feature set is complete. Uh, we're basically doing some beta testing. Should be available within two months. Um, uh, here, some, it's by the end of the first quarter, uh, is what we're saying, you know, 2012, available in the App Store. Um, at a price point of $49.99 on the App Store. Uh, one of the other big things I didn't mention uh, that's unique about this, in addition to being able to play back up to 48 tracks at a time, is Aurea is compatible with uh, the camera connection kit that Apple does that allows you to plug in external USB audio interfaces. You can actually record multi-channel simultaneously. We've done some testing uh, with some uh, audio interfaces that can actually We've recorded with, with a Personas audio interface that'll let you do 18 tracks of simultaneous recording right onto the iPad. Wow, and that's into iPad memory? And that's into the, its own internal flash storage. And what sort yeah. of resolution are you getting for that? Um, in that, the iPad uh, can do 24-bit recording. Uh, however, it is fixed at 44.1 kilohertz. So that might be something Apple looks into pumping up in the future. But you can do 24-bit um, at CD quality sample rates. And you've got some in-app purchase kind of stuff happening. There are, yeah. yeah. There's going to be um, things available um, from third-party uh, third plug-in companies. For example, uh, PSP is going to be offering some of their additional ones like Micro Warmer uh, and their Echo. Uh, other companies like FabFilter, um, the FabFilter EQ, the Pro-Q, which is a great, which adapts really well to, uh, to the touch interface, being able to grab points, being able to just drag grab parts, be able to adjust it this way. Very intuitive uh, in, a, in a touch interface. Um, and are you using any sort of freeze technology to kind of free up? We have full track freeze, uh, so if you have, if you're using, you know, 30 um, PSP channel strips at once with a convolution reverb, it comes with a convolution reverb and, you know, another delay and you start running out of CPU, yeah, you just click on the track freeze button, it does an instant freeze, bypasses all those. Again, pretty standard DAW um, feature that yeah we added we included so here in Aurea. Audio only, right? Audio only, yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms, uh, no MIDI at this point. It's definitely on our minds, uh, but we wanted to concentrate on the audio side first and get that yeah fully working. I mean, sometimes too, there's too much. You just right. It would have been. I mean, it would have. Yeah, we wanted to get this working, stable, um, out in the market, and and first so people can see what you can actually do. Um, and then, but that'll be something that we'll be looking into and you can probably expect to see from us down the road is more on the instrument side. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for stopping over. Thanks.